We all know that humans getting pregnant is not a simple process. It's a very intricate process and every small thing matters. And one of it is an endometrial polyp. I am Dr. Sneha, consultant gynecologist and fertility specialist. And in this video, I will be discussing all about endometrial polyps. So a polyp is a growth of an endometrium. Normally, the uterus is made up of three layers, the outer serosa, the middle myometrium, which is the muscle layer, and the inner endometrium. It is in the endometrium that the pregnancy happens. It is here that when the fetus comes and the embryo comes and it is sticking to the uterus, it sticks to the endometrium and develops blood flow through the muscle and grows. So it is very important that the uterus endometrium is normal. When there is a polyp, this is an extra growth in the endometrium. Why this happens? Mostly this happens due to the unopposed estrogen in the body. In certain cases like polycystic ovarian syndrome, there is a buildup of estrogen. Estrogen helps the lining to grow. So once it grows and if there is normal ovulation like in a normal woman, there is progesterone which acts on this uterus and sheds the uterine lining during the menstrual flow. However, if there are irregular cycles, the lining keeps building up and once it builds up, there may be an increased chance of polyp formation. Polyps may produce different symptoms. Sometimes they may be asymptomatic which is just recognized while undergoing an ultrasound or they may produce mild bleeding which may be post your uh, menstrual period or in between your menstrual cycles or after you had intercourse or sometimes they may be heavy menstrual bleeding during periods or occasionally we find it in women who present with infertility. Why are polyps important? They produce a little bit of inflammatory substances and this inflammatory reaction inside the uterus will not allow an early implantation to happen. So it definitely does have an impact on fertility. There was a retrospective study in 2020 which showed that removal of the endometrial polyps definitely improved the pregnancy rate in women attempting to conceive. So how do we diagnose these endometrial polyps? Mostly they are on imaging studies or it may be on a simple two-dimensional ultrasound study where we see a growth inside the uterus and we measure the size and accordingly counsel the woman to undergo its removal or occasionally it may be seen on 3D scans or higher imaging modalities such as CT or MRI and sometimes when we do a tube test which is hysterosalpingogram the polyps appear as filling defects inside the uterus and rarely when we do a hysteroscopy to just uh, it may be prior to IVF or for some other reason like increased bleeding we see these endometrial polyps and they require removal and can be removed during the process of hysteroscopy with the help of the scissors and usually we send it for biopsy to rule out between a benign which is a non-cancerous or a malignant which is a cancerous lesion. In younger women we expect it to be benign and uh, the removal may not have any other consequence however if it is malignant it may require further treatment. So before trying to conceive Consult your fertility specialist, get an imaging done, rule out all the intricate possibilities which may affect your chances of conception and then go ahead.